Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about our crazy trip to Europe. At first we had direct flights from LAX to Copenhagen, Denmark, but then the company that we had flights for, SAS, went on strike, and so we had to get alternative flights, which took us over 24 hours to get to Copenhagen, Denmark. So this is our journey on how we got to Copenhagen, Denmark from Los Angeles in 24 We're hours. Here at United, this is the start of many legs and we'll see how it goes. Okay, we made it past security pretty good. Now we're going over to gate 77 and which looks like this is the end of the United Road. This is what we're looking at. Gate 77 should be our gate. We always seem to have this knack for finding the airline with the gate at the very end of the column, if you know what I mean. And we also have this thing where our flight gate keeps on changing. In this case, it wasn't too far, just from 77 to 74. But we did finally get on the plane, so that wasn't a problem. We are here on the plane, finally, to New Jersey. And it's a really nice plane with springs and everything and power. But I'm just going to go to sleep on this plane. Because of all the different time zone changes that were going to be involved, I knew that the more sleep I got on the planes that I could would be better. So I tried to sleep as much as I could on these plane flights out to Europe. Okay, we have arrived here in New Jersey at LaGuardia Airport. And we got to get over now to... JFK Airport, which is on the other side of this city of New York, to catch the next flight. Despite my confusion on the names of the airports, we were in Newark International Airport in New Jersey, but we did have to go to JFK, which is in New York. Um, it's about an hour drive by taxi. It was not a cheap taxi. This taxi was a Lyft and it cost us about $128. But it was kind of cool. We got to go over a few bridges and we even got to go to Staten Island briefly trying to get over to Manhattan and then down into JFK. So it was just kind of fun to see some old sites. We had previously been to New York, um, but it was kind of fun to see it from a different angle. Can I have a construction never finish? Nope. And by the time they finish, they need to make it bigger. Yeah, they're finished. They go a few miles down the road, and there's a new one there. Yep. I saw one construction site. We arrived on the other side, JFK. And we're looking for Terminal One. Our flight from New Jersey got in at 8 a.m. local time, and. We were leaving from JFK at 4 o'clock, but the gate, well, the ticket booth to get our tickets at JFK was not open until about 12, so we had to wait around at the ticket counter to get our tickets. We're getting on our Lufthansa flight to Germany now, and this one is a mast flight, so that's different. The other ones didn't really enforce a mast, but this one is enforcing, so that's how it goes. We're here on the Lufthansa flight. Our accommodations do not have the same leg room mm -hmm. that our other ones did. At least I'm not pegged, but I'm really close to the monitor. No USB port anywhere. There's a power underneath the chair, but we can't reach it. It's too cramped. Yeah. If we really, once we get going, I have to, like, you have a plug handy? Overall, I wasn't a big fan of the Lutonsa flights. Denise liked the food on the Lufthansa flight. We got this like noodle dish and she said it was good. And then we did get some breakfast in the morning. We got a, like a little fruit tray and a marble muffin. But overall, I was not too impressed with Luf the Lufthansa flights. I just think that the flight attendants were a little bit stressed because all the flights into Europe were busy. And so you could kind of hear it in their voices and it was just also a very cramped flight but we were happy to get a flight at all so i wasn't complaining we are 
We're here at Frankfurt Airport and our goal right now is to find our connecting flight. We're in Z66 and we gotta go all the way over to A19. That's where we're headed. In Frankfurt, we officially checked into Europe by getting our passport stamped. It was a long walk, but we were finally able to get onto that last leg of our flight, which would take us into Copenhagen, Denmark. And the flight into Copenhagen, Denmark from Frankfurt was not that long. That was just like a one hour hop. Basically, we went up and we went down and we were there. in the ocean. Oh, look, there's our cruise ship. Right there. The Don there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Don. That would be really unusual. I think that they would be unloading tomorrow. They might be positioned today. Copenhagen Air Team. Oh, this is the final stop for us. Looks like they have a full flight out too. They're ready to go. This reminds me of the TJ Airport. We are technically It's a 7 Eleven, but there's nobody manning the store here. It's a fully automatic 7 Eleven. Interesting was here. The Copenhagen airport was interesting. It had a little museum in which it talked about all the future technologies that Denmark had invented, such as the vacuum cleaner, the curling iron, the bicycle, some lenses, and some radios. One thing that was interesting was all the lost luggage in the airport. Lost luggage here at the Copenhagen airport. It's like all over the place it's in the hallways and everything it's pretty crazy some of it looks like expensive stuff too but it's everywhere here just piles and piles of rush oh my goodness it just never ends the whole exit way is filled with lost luggage. Apparently our first mode of transportation is going to be the metro. So that's what we're going to take. We had what was called the Copenhagen card, which was good for, in our case, two days, 48 hours. And it was very convenient because it allowed us to go on all the different metro lines and use public transportation within Copenhagen, as well as going to many attractions which we'll feature in a different video. Learning to get around on the Copenhagen Metro was pretty simple. We'll talk more about it later. But within a few transfers, we were up and at our hotel. So I hope you like this video. Um, this is going to be the first of many of our Baltic adventure. So please subscribe and we'll hear more about our Baltic adventure. Thank you for watching.